The idea was to, um, to show how a healthy reef should look like and then see it abundant with fish and coral. So then people who don't go in the sea, you know, a lot of Seychelles don't know, you know, they don't enjoy the, the reef, you know, believe it or not. So at least they'll see it on the wall there and, and, uh, and they'll think like, you know, everything I throw away, you know, whether it's up the mountain, it ends up in the ocean and it ends up on the reef. It's not enough producing art that's hanging in galleries or bought by tourists and then they, they put in their suitcase and they leave. So uh, I think artists have a role to play, a very important role and a responsibility to, to help you know, uh, the collective uh, voice, you know, which is um, putting across the, the messages to, to, to the population, especially to the young, that um, you, have to, um, you, know, you have to listen to these messages, they're real. You know? And putting it as a, in, a, in a visual way for me, it's, 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 it's very important. My message is simply think twice and you know those birds, they deserve to live freely just like you get your prey, like they get their prey when they, they come there, they, they, they eat their fish, not a plastic, not a bucket block, <laughs> you know the beak. Art can pass on millions of messages, but if the person who who take he doesn't interest, he not interesting, so it's a problem. But I strongly believe that through art we go very far. We wanted to use the art to be an emotional instrument to really reach the deep inside of the human being because we got those cold scientific data methodology things that we're going to solve the problem. But how deep you can reach to everyone and how much you can really change the small movement of everyday small decisions. It's really about the emotional connections and I believe art is instrument, it's an emotional instrument which can compromise those the code scientific cannot reach.